Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today marks the start of a new series that I'd like to call Hidden Gems in Reaper. In this series, we'll cover plugins and effects that come built into Reaper that you may not know about. In today's episode, we'll cover JS Event Horizon Clipper. This plugin is great for transient content to help add more punch and sustain. Let's take a look. In this project, I have a song from one of the bands that I play drums for. Let's take a listen to part of the chorus and pay particular attention to the drums. That doesn't sound bad, but using JS Event Horizon Clipper, we can make those drums punch through a little bit more. On my drums bus, I'll click an empty spot in the effects inserts and do a search for event. You'll notice that there are two that come stock with Reaper. There is JS Event Horizon Clipper and JS Event Horizon Limiter Clipper. In this case, I want to use the Clipper only variant. As with all the JS plugins, the interface is quite simple, but it does the job. To hear what this does, I'll put the chorus on repeat, solo the drums, and play the song again while adjusting the threshold. As you can probably hear, that's making the drums sound a lot more punchy. Let's see how that sounds in the mix. That most definitely made the drums a lot more punchy, but now I need to compensate by reducing them in the mix just a bit. Let's try that without the plugin. Here's before. And after. As you can hear, the clipper is great for rounding off those transients and adding a lot more punch and sustain to the drums. You may also want to consider using this on a parallel processing track instead and blending it in with the original signal. I hope this helps. If you like the content you've been seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee! I like coffee, it tastes good.